So I start every learning layer CISPI journey with Joe the same way. And I say, we are bringing Joe on to talk about his experience as he gets ready for a CSSP. Right. But this is a different one because Joe, you are done. I'm done. You have taken right. the test. I took the test. Congratulations on even taking it. Right. But you know, we, we're not here to just win by showing up. Right. How'd it go? <laughs> um, it was, uh, it, was, it was not what I expected. Joe, hang on. Uh, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> we, people are dying to know the binary yes or no. Okay, Did you pass? I, well, spoiler alert. Yes, I passed. Hey, congratulations. Right, so thank Round you. of applause. That's um, incredible. But it was, it was, I was in there. Okay. I start taking the tests yeah. and, uh, or the tests and start looking at the questions. And very quickly, I get a lot of questions that are like, I haven't ever seen this before. Sure, sure. So I, I started taking the the. The question is, I'm like, all right, let's get this done. And the first yeah. question comes up and I'm like, huh, I don't, you know, that haven't seen this in the study materials. Let, yeah. me, let me think about it. And, yeah. I, and I take my time and I think about it. Mm -hmm. And I get the impression that there's, there's a lot of questions I'm just getting wrong mm -hmm. uh, as I'm taking this test. And then after about question 50, there are a bunch of questions that were just right up, straight out of the knowledge Great. set. That were Great. very easy for me to get. Awesome. Um, now I'm like, well, I got this one. I got this one. Okay. Yeah. Well, here's another one I don't have. But sure. I would sit down and think about it. Think mm -hmm. about the perspective. Think about what my manager would think about. Yep. Um, and I get to the hundredth question. Okay. And I click next, and I'm like, uh, and it goes, your test is ended. I'm oh. Like, oh. I was so, not expecting the test to end here. So, Joe, you passed and ended a question 100. Yes. You know what that means? Uh, well, I know what I thought it meant. <laughs> I thought it meant, get out of here. <laughs> but, no, apparently it means you, you have demonstrated enough knowledge by 100 questions that you passed the test. You crushed it. That's yeah. what you literally saw the minimum number of questions. The test was like, I don't want this anymore. Right. I have two interns that work for me. They taught me this new slang word called cooked. Cooked. Like, the test was cooked. Cooked. How do you spell cooked? Is that C O O K E D? I, th I think so. Okay, I don't cooked. Know. <laughs> but I'm going to use that with my kids. You, you, you crushed it. Is what is what the test is like. I don't want like Joe to be around anymore. I give up early. Right. So that's that's incredible. Yes, I I I, I answered it into submission. <laughs> well, well done, <laughs> Bendy Vidi Vici. <laughs> How long did it take you? How many hours? Um, it took me. Let me think here. I, I I was keeping track of that because I got the first fifty questions in about an hour. Okay. So I was you know because I knew I had three hours sure. to take the test. Sure. And I was pacing myself to be. I was a little bit ahead of an hour at the end of fifty questions. Okay. And at the end of a hundred questions, I was probably about ten minutes ahead of two hours. Great. Okay. So about an hour and fifty minutes. Sure. That's that's you to, know probably a little faster than you needed to, but it sounds like what you. What you did do, as you described around question 50, when you got just straight up content question, you can go predict the right answer. Right. You can go faster on those. And yes. again, you would have used all that time for 101 to 150 if it had happened. Right. So, yeah, and that's a good point. So, when I knew that, when I, when I was able to do the answer prediction stuff, and it was right there, and I knew the answer was part of it. Uh, yeah, I, 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 those questions, I probably took maybe 15 to 30 seconds a piece on those. Nice. Um, I'm curious. Given now that you're on the other side, both on the test itself and the studying, right. what is like one piece of advice you would give to somebody who's gearing up for their CISP? Uh, it's it's more about the way you think about things than mm -hmm. it is about uh, you know the knowledge. The knowledge is good. The knowledge is very important. Yeah, but it's it's more like like you've been saying the entire time. It is about the managerial way of thinking, mm -hmm. uh, and I really tried to apply that in the test taking. Part is you have to think like a manager, and I've heard mm. not just you, but a bunch of other people say that. Yeah. Um, so it is it is that is not a lie. That is not people <laughs> telling mm -hmm. you something. That is exactly what you need to do. Uh, and I I like to think that I thought like a manager, and I was done with the test in hundred questions. I got some other questions for you. Yeah. I I uh, had somebody on my team pull some stats on your studying. Okay. So let's do Joe Kerrigan's CISPI pass by the numbers. How many? 
total questions you think you did in the LMS? How many total questions? I should yeah. know this because it has them listed there. Um, I, I'm going to guess I did close to 400. 690. 690, okay. <laughs> okay. How many, we also calculated the amount of hours you spent just on the question. So again, this is not reviewing, this is not studying, literally just sitting down doing questions. Okay. Um, I'm going to guess uh, six hours? No, it can't be six hours. It's got to be longer than that. Like probably 10 hours. Uh, you're, you're in between six and 10. Eight, eight, eight hours. Eight hours. Okay. It's pretty good. Um, you actually spent just one hour just doing identity access management questions. Yes. <laughs> you, were, you, were, you were deep in those. I was worried about that. that uh, Which domain do you think you did the most questions in with 170? That was probably domain one. Nice. Security risk management. Right. Some other stats to share with you. First of all, your first quiz bank quiz was in March. And right. your last one, you know, went through June. Yeah. So that's a lot of months of studying. Yep. Your worst QBank quiz was 50%. 50%. And that was, was in your... domain seven. Okay. And <laughs> what was your best? Do you know? Uh, I'm going to say it was 85. Well done. 86.6. 86. 86. 86. So... I have a commentary on that stat, which is supposed to show you the volatility. It's normal to maybe score a little bit lower in some stuff and then score really high. You're never like as good as you look. You're never as bad as you look. So volatility happens in the in the questions. Um, in your final exam, I, I, I love this because well, let me ask you, what domains were your best in the final? Do you remember? Uh, uh, I think... Domain one was my best. There was one that I, no. Uh, yeah, I think it was, there was one that gave me the green circle and all right. the rest of them gave me a yellow circle. Correct. So you were above proficiency and actually two of them. Okay. It was identity access management to okay. five and then domain eight. Domain eight. Oh, software, software development. development. Right. And why does that make me smile? Uh, because I'm a software engineer. Well, and, and yes. And because on your diagnostic. My diagnostic, I did not do well in software development. That's what I'm talking right. about. And that yeah. is so beautiful. It makes me so happy. Things have come full circle. Your weakness in the diagnostic all of a sudden became the strength in the final. Right. And that's something to be proud of. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. So I asked you what a takeaway was from your perspective. I have a takeaway I want to share with the listeners. Okay. All of the stats that I just shared, 690 questions. It takes a lot to pass this test. Yeah. Like all the hard work you put in, that's what it takes. There are no shortcuts when you're studying for certification exams, especially the CSSP. I would agree with that 100% with this. So congratulations again, Joe. And also on a personal level, I have to thank you. Because if you imagine if you hadn't passed, I would look really bad. <laughs> right. You made me yeah, look good. You and me both, really. Yeah. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> so congratulations. It was great working with you. Um, I, I knew from the beginning you were going to be fine. But to actually watch it happen and you put in all the hours and the effort was was fun to watch. Yeah, so I, I, I learned I'll a tell lot you this, from you Sam, too. I didn't have that level of confidence in how I was going to pass this test all the way up to the point where right before I picked up the piece of paper and said, you, you passed. Yeah. I was not 100% confident until I saw that, but that's just my nature. Yep. But yeah, yep. it's, I don't know, maybe it's imposter syndrome. Who knows? Congratulations. Thank you. You can't fudge your way around being fully certified CISB. So congratulations again. And uh, whenever you're ready for the next cert, let me know. Uh, okay. I will <laughs> let you know. <laughs>